Welcome back to the channel. So this video is from a YouTuber that goes by the name of Rove Crave. And this is an autumn walk around the original Washington village in Northeast England. The family village of George Washington, uh, first president of the USA. Hold on, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, um, yeah, we about to dive into some... Some some history. This is going to be awesome. With that being said, original link in the description. And we're smoking all my dragons. Divine, righteous, almighty, great, overachieving, never slacking. Let's fly, black, fly back to England. Here we go. It definitely has that vibe of like New England uh, walking through a Massachusetts town, which is the best vibes to have for autumn. Uh, you mentioned autumn in New England. I mean, people get excited. Those that know know that's probably what the most beautiful spot in the in the U.S. at least during uh, autumn season for sure. It feels like he's in like a hocus pocus movie. The person walking um, could be a, a woman, so he or she just feels like they're in a hocus pocus movie. Like remember that scene where with the graveyard <laughs> and the bullies. If you if you ever see that movie, that's what I'm thinking of right now. There's so much magic to me in um, graveyards, especially old graveyards. When I go back to my hometown, I always visit this one graveyard where my great-grandmother's buried, my um, my aunt's buried, 
my uncle's buried, and uh, two of my of my close friends are buried. One that passed away in a motorcycle accident, and another one that passed away um, due to to drugs. But I always go to that graveyard, and um, at least it, I, I I didn't go last fall. I went recently though, about I want to say three weeks ago. But I usually like to go fall time, and um, there's just so much like statues, and you know what? I'm a vlog it. I'm a vlog. There's so much like it just feels. I can't even explain it. I can't explain it. But you know, sometimes I'll fix up uh, graves if I see it's like real messed up, things like that. But I just feel like there's so much magic in a grave. I find more peace in graveyards than I do amongst the living. I'll tell you right now, if I was a director, which I wouldn't count that out because ain't no telling, you know, within the next, I'm 31 now, hey, in the next 10 years, maybe even 20 years, who knows? You know, I am an author. I could, who knows? I might be directing some movies. Don't count that out. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you right now, if I was to become a director, I'm going to England and I'm shooting a lot of my movies in England. Cause see me, I'm gonna bring that classic feeling back. Remember how I brought up Hocus Pocus, all them just those classics we love. Um, Halloween Town. I mean, even though this this doesn't remind me of Halloween Town. Like I said, this reminds me of. So basically, what I'm trying to say is this reminds me of Salem. That's really what I'm trying to say. This this town over the original Washington reminds me of Salem, Massachusetts. It gives off the gives off though gives off those vibes. Um, but the fact that Salem is so known and already so just everywhere, I feel like a lot of people, at least in the U.S., wouldn't really know too much about this. Like if I was to go amongst my peers and be like, the original Washington, you know, in England, and they're not really gonna, you know, other opposed to me saying like, oh Salem, oh yeah, yeah, Salem, Massachusetts, I want to go there. Like I like the, I, I would want to come and 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 make a story. Um based out of this town and just create something completely new. That would be awesome. But at the same time, then I don't know how the locals would feel about that. Cause I wouldn't want it to become like a big tourist. I mean, it's a, if that's where George Washington was, then I'm pretty sure it's already a big tourist attraction, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to make it uh like where everybody's just every Halloween coming there and just ruining the vibe. So I guess I would go there and just get scenes, right? Just get scenes for, for for a movie or something, and I and, and I know a lot of directors do that, a lot of them do, you know. A England, um, 
North, a lot of the Northeast, I've heard about like the, the North, where I'm from, Northeast, um, Eastern United States, like up there, Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Like there's a lot of directors that go and get a lot of scenes for a lot of movies out there. They always shooting low, low key too. You'll hear about it. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Uh, I love the vibes. Loved how it was the, the aesthetic of the whole town. Um, once again, this is called the original Washington Village in Northeast England. I want to look up some more about it. The family village of George Washington. This is something you learn in like social studies, but you just, it kind of goes over your head. The family village. Family village. Let, let, let's do a little bit of research real quick of George. See, it don't even pop up. Don't even pop up. Like, you know how usually you type in something, man, it just... Doo -doo. Yeah, I didn't... I'm not getting no type of information on this. Let me put England at the end. It's talking about Philadelphia and Virginia. Okay, so it was the I get all right, it was the ancestral home of the family of George Washington. Got you. Got you. All right. So that that makes I get it now. I was thinking like he like low key to like lived there for a while or maybe moved there. It says, although George never, never visited England. Wow. There are Washingtons in both England and America living links between the two countries. American travelers with an interest in the English heritage of our first president can put together a self-guided tour of Washington country. Okay, so that's definitely something that went over the head in social studies. A hundred percent. Obviously, it's, it's, it doesn't seem like there's too much information on it when you search it. But um, this is why these videos are so informative. This is why these videos, to me, are like hidden jewels. And this is why uh, YouTube is a university. Because you learn something new every day. Whether that's bad or good, it just depends on where your focus is. And this person right here, uh, let me go to, to their YouTube name again. Um, Rove Crave. They were my teacher today. You know, I'm a student when I get on here. Rove Crave was my teacher. And because of Ro Rove Crave, and be because of this video that, uh, let me get the pronunciation right. Because of this video, Rove Crave, why does that sound like a tongue twister? Because of this video, Rove Crave decided to do, 
three years ago, I know I now know new information today. And I got to see the original Washington village um, in England in the fall. So much love. I appreciate it. Much gratitude. But with that being said, original link in the description. If you've been here, definitely let me know your experience in the comments. And I'll be back with more soon. Much love.